The question is that Amendment 4176.1 in the name of Jamie Green, which seeks to amend Motion 4176 in the name of George Adam on setting out a business programme, be agreed. Members should cast their votes now. The vote is now closed. Of the vote on amendment number 4176.1 in the name of Jamie Green is yes 47, no 64. There were no abstentions. The amendment is therefore not agreed. The next question is that motion 4176 in the name of George Adam on behalf of the Parliamentary Bureau on setting out a business programme be agreed. Are we all agreed? Yes. The Parliament is not agreed, therefore we will move to a vote and members should cast their votes now. The vote is now closed. The result of the vote on motion 4176 in the name of George Adam is yes 64, no 47. There were no abstentions. The motion is therefore agreed. The next item of business is consideration of business motion 4208 in the name of George Adam on behalf of the Parliamentary Bureau on suspension of standing orders. Any member who wishes to speak against the motion should press their request to speak button now. And I call on George Adam to move the motion. Move, President Officer. Thank you, Minister. No member has asked to speak against the motion. Therefore, the question is that motion 4208 be agreed. Are we all agreed? Yes. The Parliament is not agreed. We will move to a vote. Members should cast their votes now. The vote is now closed.
The result of the vote on motion 4208 in the name of George Adam is yes 63, no 47. There were no abstentions. The motion is therefore agreed. The next item of business is consideration of four parliamentary bureau motions, and I ask George Adam on behalf of the parliamentary bureau to move motions 4178 on approval of an SI, 4179 and 4180 on designation of lead committee, and 4181 on committee meeting times. Thank you, President Officer, and all moved. Thank you. The question on these motions will be put at decision time, and there are four questions to be put as a result of today's business. And can I remind members that if the amendment in the name of Liz Smith is agreed to, then the amendment in the name of Daniel Johnson will fall. And the first question is that amendment 4159.1 in the name of Liz Smith, which seeks to amend motion 4159 in the name of Richard Lockhead on UK Shared Prosperity Fund, implications for Scotland be agreed. Are we all agreed? The Parliament is not agreed, therefore we will move to a vote and members should cast their votes now. The vote is now closed. Point of order, Martin Whitfield. I'm very grateful, Presiding Officer. My um, device wouldn't attach to the voting app, and I would have voted no. Thank you, Mr. Whitfield. We'll ensure that's recorded. The result of the vote on amendment number 4159.1 in the name of Liz Smith is yes 28, no 82. There were no abstentions. The amendment is therefore not agreed. And therefore, the next question is that amendment 4159.2 in the name of Daniel Johnson, which seeks to amend motion 4159 in the name of Richard Lockhead on UK Shared Prosperity Fund implications for Scotland be agreed. Are we all agreed? No. The Parliament is not agreed, therefore we will move to a vote and members should cast their votes now. The vote is now closed.
I call Rachel Hamilton for a point of order. I call Rachel Hamilton for a point of order. Yeah, my apologies, Ms Hamilton. We appear unable to connect with you at the moment. The result of the vote on amendment number 4159.2 in the name of Daniel Johnson is yes 19, no 91. There were no abstentions. The amendment is therefore not agreed. The next question is that motion 4159 in the name of Richard Lockhead on UK Shared Prosperity Fund implications for Scotland be agreed. Are we all agreed? Yes. The Parliament is not agreed, therefore we will move to a vote. Members should cast their votes now. The result of the vote on motion 4159 in the name of Richard Lockhead is yes 81, no 28. There were no abstentions. The motion is therefore agreed. And I propose to ask a single question on four parliamentary bureau motions. Does any member object? No member objects. The final question is that motions 4178 on approval of an SI, 4179 and 4180 on designation of a lead committee and 4181 on committee meeting times be agreed. Are we all agreed? Yes. We are. The motions are therefore agreed. That concludes decision time. Oh, point of order, Brian Whittle. Yeah, thank you, presiding officer. Uh, today's uh, portfolio questions, we had a significant number of government responses that had little to do with the questions asked, along with government backbenchers, supplementary questions, which again had little or nothing in common with the original question. It seems to me that every response now pivots to include Westminster or independence, no matter what the topic. Now, I appreciate political spin. Yeah, good. Yeah, okay, laugh it up, honestly. Shocking Excuse me, Mr Whittle, Mr Whittle, if you give me a moment, can we have silence, please, to hear Mr Whittle? Thank you. Now, I, I appreciate, presenting Office, that political spin will always be part of this place, but fundamentally, we are here to represent our communities, and surely that has to remain a significant element of what we do here. We bring questions from our constituents to the government in the hope of getting answers for them. And quite frankly, these sessions are becoming absolutely farcical and the Government are treating the Parliament with contempt. So can I seek your advice, Presiding Officer, on how we can bring the Chamber questions back to what they are designed for? I thank Mr Whittle for his point of order. I have not had an opportunity to view the session to which the Member refers. Um, as the Member will be aware, the content of ministerial answers is not ordinarily a matter for me. However, 
I do expect, as a matter of courtesy and respect, for answers to address the question. And it's also very important, too, that supplementary questions are linked to the substantive question. Thank you. That concludes decision time. We will now move on to members' business, and I'd be grateful if members could leave the chamber quietly.